Welcome back to Alpine Garage Sports, folks. My name is Chris. I am your host for this show, and today we're going to be talking about the fact that Coach Prime could be worth $1 billion to the University of Colorado in his five-year contract that he's under right now. We are busting out University of Colorado content and college football in general, so please subscribe and hang out with us. So Joe Pompliano is a sports and business analyst, and if you haven't already subscribed to his Twitter and his website, it's under Joe Pompliano, and I'll put that down in the description. He just put out a basic tweet that said that Coach Prime could be worth a billion dollars under his five-year contract. Man, that sounds like a really big number, so let's break it out. So first of all, we know that Coach Prime is under a $29.5 million contract over five years. I think most of us know that he probably won't be under that contract for long. I'm pretty sure where he's gonna, I'm pretty sure we're gonna jump on that, make that a little bit more valuable for him. But keep in mind too that Coach Prime is not at all in any way in dire straits on this contract because he is probably making more money in ad revenue right now for himself, just in the ads that you're seeing on, on football. Uh, then he probably will make in this contract. You need to be paid what you're worth, and we're going to go into that. So let's talk about when he came to University of Colorado. The University of Colorado merchandise just blew up. I want to say the number was like 400% increase just in one month alone that when he came here. And then ever since then, it's just been growing. And, and in fact, September hasn't even closed yet, and it's going to be the largest revenue that Colorado has seen in merchandise sales. But then you have the fact that every single game this year has been sold up for the first time. We have sold every single ticket to every single game. Then you have season tickets. We sold over 22,000 season tickets and there's still a waiting list. There's a waiting list to get season tickets, folks. They sold out immediately of student passes as well. And there's lines at every game for the handful of tickets that are left over from students that had to turn them back in. I mean, it's gone absolutely crazy. Then you have the increase in enrollment. You have the increase in donations from alumni and donations in general. The fact that the social media platforms for the University of Colorado were at a little over 200,000 subscribers through all of the CU platforms for their uh, social media jumped over 2 million just in this first nine months that Coach Prime has been here, which is significant revenue for the university. And then the big stat, the big stat, which is the one that just came out. The University of Colorado did some marketing analysis and found out that just the first three games, the amount of marketing ad revenue that's come through to the university has been worth $90.55 million to the university, which is unbelievable in three games. And here we are talking about you know, meteorites and things like that. We're getting up to a little over 30 million in meteorites next year. We've blown that out of the water alone just with our extra media that's been on campus. I mean, we've had at ESPN two weeks ago. At the same time, we've had Fox Big Noon kickoff, I think every single game, right? And then we also had 60 Minutes, Bleacher Report, First Take, Pat McAfee Show. And then we've been giving out media passes like water. I mean, like 800 per game. So you have all of those individual media impressions that are going out into the world as well, which has marketing value. So that's one of the reasons why the school's doing that. So $90.55 million. Let's look at where does that one billion come from, okay? Because that's one-tenth of a billion at this point, but we're only three games in. Now, I think there's gonna be like the law of diminishing returns is gonna take place here because there's so much anticipation built up and so much media in the first three games that it will probably fall off a little bit, but still stay marketably huge for University of Colorado. And let's say that they end the season at $200 million in value. Okay, so that's a little bit more than double right now. We're only a third of the way into the season at this point. So I think that's reasonable. And you know Coach Prime isn't done here. He's got plenty of things up his sleeve what he's, that he can pull out later in the year to help kind of continue this big marketing poll that we have going on at the University of Colorado. I don't think it's out of the question to end with $200 million in linear ad revenue coming into the school. In one year, $200 billion. In five years, that's $1 billion. Now, you could also argue at this point that it could be more than a billion dollars because this is just the first year. Next year, you have to keep in mind that all of this marketing, all those marketing impressions that we're making are attracting more and more four and five star college athletes to the University of Colorado. So as we go on, we are going to be building an even better team than we have right now. And by 2025, we may be actually in the hunt for a national championship. So we're not, we haven't even tapped we haven't even tapped this yet. This is just the first part of it. And that's when we're really gonna start driving this. So we might have 200 million this year. Next year might be 300, 350. We might even have a year within the prime years where we hit maybe $500 million in extra revenue to the school. And, and I know that sounds extremely weird and maybe I'm just, I'm, I'm just exploding on this, 
But $1 billion for the school in five years is huge. I think it could be way bigger than that. Please throw your comments down below. What do you think we should do with Coach Prime's contract? What do you think that he has earned up to this point? And should we make him the highest paid football coach in the land? We will see you in the next video. And if you haven't already heard, we here.